All right, so now we want to set up our keyframing, our video setup, um, and we're just going to do the sun from sunset, from sunrise to sunset on this particular day. And so again, it's going to use the the settings in uh, the rendering sun settings. So whatever whatever day you have set up here, right? So we have today um, at 9:20. If you wanted to do it at a different time, you could. So for example, if I went to Right, that'll give you obviously more sun across the surface. So maybe we'll set it like that and see how it goes. Click OK. So just get your day set up and everything. And then what we're going to do is create a video. We're going to stand in one place, keep, make two keyframes, and move the sun in between those two keyframes. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the video editor. And you can do that in a couple of different ways. So if I go to the Enscape Capturing, there's a toggle video editor on and off right here. So I can just left click on this and it'll toggle my video editor on. If I leave that, you can also down here, if you have your um, help thing out, you can just hit the, the K and it will toggle it on and off. So I'm gonna do that on my keyboard, K, and it'll bring the video editor out. And what we wanna do is add two keyframes. So I'm just gonna come in here and add a keyframe. You're gonna see it come here. And then I'm going to add another keyframe without moving or doing anything. So click on that. And now I basically have two keyframes over the top of each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go now into what's called the keyframe editor. So I'm going to double click on this triangle that represents the keyframe. And it's going to bring out the keyframe editor. And you're going to see it's set up to the rendering size like we talked about in the previous video. It gives you a nine square grid and sort of a, a safe frame, like things that are inside the frame will definitely be seen. Um, and it gives you a keyframe editor down here. And you'll see we have two of two. So we're on the second keyframe of two. And I want to go back and start at the first one. You could work it backwards, but we'll just start from the beginning. So there's a little back arrow right here. I'm going to left click on it and it's going to change it to one of two. And so this in this first keyframe, we want to set it to sunrise. So I'm just going to come over here to the time of day and left click and just pull it around until the sun is not really visible. You can go full dark if you want to, but I'll just go, you know, maybe there's a little glow right there, but it's up to you how you want to set it. And now <clears throat> what I want to do is hit apply. So I'm just going to apply that update. And then I'm going to go to my second keyframe. And I'm going to change um, two things. I'm going to change the timestamp and the time of day. So the timestamp is going to give us the duration of the video. So I'm going to left click here, go to six seconds. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change it until it goes all the way to sunset. So I'm just going to scroll it to the left, keep scrolling it until the sun sets, right? So we've got a sunset there. And then I'm going to hit apply. And once you do that, you set up the keyframes. So I'm going to go back to my video editor and I'm going to preview that. So if I preview it, you'll see it's giving us a preview of that sun moving through the space. Right, And so once you get that set up, <clears throat> one thing that's really good to do um, is up here in the Enscape Capturing, there is a save um, camera path, video path. And what that does is it, it just saves your location and your setup. So if you want to use it again, you can. Enscape only allows for one video timeline at a time. You can't have multiple. So this is the way that you save your setup. So I'm just going to click on this. And it's going to open it up. And I already have a sun study one that I did earlier. So I'll just save over it. So now that is saved to, um, to my hard drive. And I can load it again. Um, once you have all of this done, um, you can leave the video editor. And you can come out here and create a video of the current video path. So once you do that, it'll ask you for where you want to save it. We went over the video capture settings previously. So, um, so I'm going to save this. I've done a couple already, so we won't have to wait for it to render. Um, I'll just call it sun, whoops, get my caps off there. Sun study 
three. All right, and then if I click save, it's going to start rendering that video out. Okay, so you can see it down here starting to render it. It does take a while, right? It's not um, as fast as a still, obviously, because it's basically rendering a whole series of stills. But it goes through and renders that video out. So um, I'm just going to pause this and sort of let it render out, and then we'll talk about it. All right, so um, the video rendered out, so I'll play it for you. I'll just double click on it here. So you'll see, whoops, kind of had a seizure there. Let's go ahead and play it, All right? It'll run through that video, and that's it. Um, one thing I did want to mention, um, I did a couple of, of studies earlier. If I do this, uh, double click on this one, You'll see it flickers a lot. You see that flickering? Um, if you do a video, a sun study video, and it flickers, the reason it's going to flicker is because the clouds are set um, to a certain to a density. So if you have clouds set in in um, in Inkscape, it the sun will actually cast will go through them and it'll create this flicker because it will create a shadow. So what you uh, definitely want to do is go to your Inkscape and go to your uh, visual settings window and if you go to atmosphere you want to drag the clouds down right um, so there's no clouds so you're getting sort of just a pure sunlight there um, so that's one last thing and that's it for the keyframe